It's a simple question. Sure. Should we fund a Manhattan-like project that develops a nuclear bomb to deal with global energy and alternative energy, or should we fund 100,000 garages across America, the kind of industry and innovation that developed Silicon Valley? I think pure research and development investment on the part of the, of the United States government is certainly appropriate. I think once it gets into productive uh, stages that we ought to obviously turn it over to the private sector. By the way, my friends, I, I know you grow a little weary of this back and forth. It was an energy bill on the floor of the Senate loaded down with goodies, billions for the oil companies, and it was sponsored by Bush and Cheney. You know who voted for it? Might never know. That one. You know who voted against it? Me. I have fought a time after time against these pork barrel, these, these, these bills that come to the floor and they have all kinds of goodies and all kinds of things in them for everybody and they buy off the votes. I vote against them, my friends. I vote, them, I vote against them. But the point is also, on oil drilling, oil drilling offshore now is vital so that we can bridge the gap. We can bridge the gap between imported oil which is, which is a national security issue as well as any other, and it will reduce the price of a barrel of oil because when people know there's a greater supply, then the cost of that will go down. That's fundamental economics. We've got to drill offshore, my friends, and we've got to do it now, and we can do it. And as far as nuclear power is concerned, again, again, look at the record. Senator Obama has approved storage and, re and reprocessing of spent nuclear fuel. And I'll stop, Tommy, and you didn't even weigh it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Senator. Next question for you, Senator Obama, and it comes from the E section over here, and it's from Lindsay Trello. Lindsay?